Hi, this is Mobile Network Comparison. Today we've got the Lenovo 850 and we're going to be installing a ROM with the Flash tool. So while the A850 is a pretty decent phone the way it comes, it's also really good that there's a quite active custom ROM scene around it and you can easily change the software on your phone. We bought this phone from China and you can see it comes running a rest of world ROW ROM based upon the Lenovo stock. But we're going to change it now by using the flash tool. So before you can flash across the ROM, the first thing you need to do is to ensure that your phone is turned fully off. So just hit power off, uncheck the fast boot option and click OK and wait until the phone completely powers down. And also you need to take out the battery as well just to be completely sure that it's not still on in any way at all. So pop the battery out, put it to the side, and we can go on to the next step of the flashing process. So now that your phone is set up and ready, we can go over to the computer and prepare everything there. In order to flash the new ROM, you need three things. You need to have the USB drivers installed in your computer so it can see your phone. You need to have the flash tool application, and of course you need the ROM file itself. So if you click on the description below, we've got a link that will take you to our site where we have all these things prepared for you. So we've got a zip file with the flash tool and the USB drivers inside it. We've got a zip file with the ROM inside it. And we've also got USB DView should you need it if you're having trouble installing the USB drivers. So once you've got all that sorted, you're ready to start the flashing process. Go to your computer, navigate to the flash tool folder, and then just go ahead and we're going to run the flash tool executable. So double click it, hit run, and it will open up. And once it's loaded up on your screen, the first step is to load the scatter file. So just click here and then double click on the scatter text file that was included in your ROM dump, which you have unzipped somewhere on your computer. And then we need to check this box that says DADL or with checksum. That's very important. And just check some options before we start it. So check USB motors on and check that the speed is set to high speed. So before we go ahead, Never ever press this format button, be really careful. You always want to click the firmware upgrade button or click F8. Once you hit that, you'll see searching appears at the bottom and it's ready for you to go ahead and plug in your phone to the USB cable. So I've plugged the phone in and I'm just gonna quickly fast forward through all of the, the ROM being loaded onto the phone. It shouldn't take too long at all. You'll probably be looking at a total time in the region of about five, six or seven minutes once everything's done. As long as you're seeing coloured progress bars along the bottom, everything's running fine. And you just need to make sure you've got a decent USB cable that's reliable and that will last without any problems. So now we've got to the end of the flashing process here. This big green circle means everything's done correctly. You can close it, close the flash tool, and then unplug your phone. And the flashing is all complete. So now you just need to go over to your phone and boot it up again. So put the battery back inside and power it on as usual just by holding down the power button. You'll be greeted by a new logo instead of the old Lenovo logo and the phone will slowly but surely boot up into the new ROM. Here we are, we're in the new ROM. It's a completely fresh install so you have to go through a few settings at the beginning. I'm just going to skip through all of this right now and show you what we have. No need to enter any of this information right yet. Set up complete, and you're greeted with a brand new Lenovo ROM. So you'll notice that some of the icons are slightly different. And let's just go into the settings. If I scroll down to the bottom and go about phone and look at the version infos, you can see we're running S123 version of the ROM. So there you have it. We really hope you found this tutorial useful. Please leave a comment if you have any questions at all. And don't forget to subscribe because we've got many more custom ROM install tutorials coming soon. So you're in luck, especially if you've got a Lenovo A850. Cheers for watching. Bye.